Hello everyone, today I will introduce to you the latest M52 Portable Mobile Data Scanning Computer and the M52R Portable Mobile Data Scanning Computer that can read UHF High Frequency RFID tags. First, let me introduce the screen. The T52 has a screen size of 2.8 inches and a high-definition screen with a resolution of 320 by 240. At the same time, the T52 has a 21-key numeric keypad. The red button on the left side of the device is the trigger scan button and the SIM card slot. On the right side of the device are the power button and the scan button. The back of the device is the camera and an FC tag antenna. And the bottom of the device is the Type-C charging and data interface. On the front of the device is the barcode scanning window. Now we introduce the UHF RFID version of M52R. The front screen and keyboard of the M52R are exactly the same as the M52. Let's take a look at the layout and functions of the left and right sides of the device, which are also exactly the same as the M52. The only difference is the back of the device. We can see that there is a large antenna on the back of the M52R, which is responsible for reading UHF radio frequency tags. The bottom and front of the M52R are exactly the same as the M52, which are the Type-C data charging interface and the scanning window. Next, let's introduce how to use the keypad. First, there are four direction buttons in the middle, which are the four directions of up, down, left, and right. The blue button on the right is the confirmation and return button. Click the enter button to run the app or return a new line. The upper left corner is the back button, which can return to the previous page. Below the back key is the home key. Press this key to return to the home page of the desktop. The big red button in the middle is the scan button. This button and the two red buttons on the side are used to trigger the scanner to scan. When scanning starts, the red indicator light above the screen will turn red. When entering the input interface, you can set the input method through the yellow button in the lower right corner. When the icon in the upper right corner of the screen is a number, you can enter a number. When the icon in the upper right corner of the screen is a lowercase letter A, you can enter a lowercase character. When the icon in the upper right corner of the screen is a capital letter A, you can enter capital characters. When the icon in the upper right corner of the screen is FN, the keyboard cannot input anything, but the up and down keys are used to adjust the sound volume. The X button in the upper right corner becomes a delete button, and you can delete any information. Press the K1 button in the lower left corner to pop up a virtual keyboard on the screen and press the return button to hide the virtual keyboard. Next, let us continue to introduce how to scan barcodes. When we trigger the side scan button or the middle red button, the T52 scanner window will have a red circular indicator light indicating the position of the barcode. Please align the red circular indicator light to the barcode that needs to be scanned. When successfully scanned, the green indicator light above the screen will light up and the buzzer will sound. The last step is to introduce how to replace the SIM card. Please use a paper clip to press the small white hole on the left side of the device and the SIM card tray will pop up. Please pull out the card slot gently when you put the SIM card into the card slot in the correct direction and push it into the T52 device. So far, the introduction to the use of T52 is complete. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. General Scan. Scan Mobile World. Decode Creative Future.